a tech savvy investor would like to handle any investment whether it could be equity debt gold or even real estate with the click of a mouse digital technology transformation is inevitable in all industries real estate sector is not exempt from the rule this has taken a new route in the real estate industry called fractional property or fractional investing in real estate this video throw light on some of the important aspects of fractional investing and also includes our final verdict should you be investing in fractional real estate welcome to holisticinvestment.in what is fractional investing in real estate buying a big property involves a huge sum of money but in fractional investing in real estate the investment management company invites retail investors to invest an amount and take a portion of ownership a large commercial property is jointly owned by a group of individuals the fintech platforms create a special purpose vehicle and pools the required fund from the uh, investors once the required fund is subscribed the property is registered in the name of spv and the spv manages it all the investors hold a share or compulsory convertible debentures of the spv all the expenses in income arising from the property are shared in the proportion of their ownership let's look into the features of fractional investing in real estate it provides you with complete online transaction and all no hassle of handling physical paperwork you can invest and track your investment portfolio through online portals which is an added advantage the minimum ticket size ranges from 25 lakhs to crores the minimum ticket size varies from one property to another the returns are in the form of rental yield and also there would be capital appreciation for investors In general all platform list a potential return of 8 to 12%. The expenses related to the property such as property tax, insurance and day to day managements are deducted from the gross rental yields and not collected separately. The investment company that is the SPV charges two types of fees for handling all the procedure. One is a management fee which is a standard rate ranging from 1 to 2% per annum. The other one is based on the performance. They charge extra if they make any surplus gain. If the yield is above the hurdle rate, that is the target rate, they charge this fee. All these fees are deducted from your gross rental yield. The returns are treated as gross interest income. After the deduction of management fee, property tax and all other stuff, you are a net interest income and it is subject to TDS of uh, 10%. Next, we are moving on to the topic: What is REITs and how it is different from fractional investing? Real estate investment trust is similar to mutual funds, where they pool funds from investors and utilize this money to buy income-generating real estate properties. They are listed and traded in stock market exchange, similar to exchange-traded fund. a professional team namely the promoter that is the sponsor the fund management company and trustee will manage the investment the table here shows you the difference between fractional real estate and reits let me run through the table an investor can choose a property of his choice in fractional real estate it could be commercial warehouse factories office space etc Whereas in REITs, the managing company does not allow the investor to pick a property to invest in. There is no proper regulatory body for fractional real estate. Here, REITs are regulated by Securities Exchange Board of India. The minimum ticket size in fractional real estate is usually in lakhs, but in REITs, it could be in thousands. Under fractional real estate, they charge maintenance uh, fee and property charges. There are no such charges in REITs. In fractional real estate, they charge management fee. In REITs, they charge fund management fee and property management fee. In REITs, there is a regulation regarding to minimum investment. A minimum of 80% of the pro- portfolio value should be invested in completed and income generating properties. there is no such regulation for fractional real estate if there is a proposal for sale of underlying property fractional real estate requires approval from 75% of shareholders in reits if you are buying or selling 10% of the total portfolio value then you need unit holders approval in fractional real estate the liquidity is a big question mark whereas in reits you can exit by selling in the secondary market Next, we shall move on to the important aspect. What are the risks involved in fractional real estate? 
Under fractional investing, the asset management company waits for 40 to 45 days until the required number of investors have subscribed for the proposed value of the property. Till then, your funds get locked. Fractional investing in real estate is a growing trend in India. There is no statutory body to regulate this whole investment process. There is no grievance redressal for any dispute. There is no secondary market to exit your holdings. It is difficult to find a buyer and transfer it privately. This affects the liquidity of your investment in fractional investing in real estate. Here comes the final part. Should you be investing in fractional real estate? Fractional real estate is a new investment avenue where all the transactions are remotely done. It is important to check the legal aspects of your in investment. Due diligence should be done from your side regarding the legal documents about your property and SPV. Similar to real estate investment, the liquidity is a main problem for fractional real estate as well. There is no secondary market, so your funds get locked until the holding period which is generally for the long term or until you privately transfer it to another person. Though there is a growth oriented outlook, fractional investing in real estate does not have a proven track record. No matter how fancy an investment product looks, it is advisable to restrict yourself from this investment if you have a long list of financial goals to meet. You can consult with your financial advisor if you need professional guidance on choosing the right investments for your investment portfolio. A detailed blog post available in our website. The link is given in the description box. Hope you like this video. If you have any questions related to this or any other investment option or related to your financial goal, don't hesitate to book a free appointment with our financial planners. The link to the free booking is given in the description box below. Also, will you be interested to attend any insightful investment webinar? Then feel free to register for the upcoming enlightening investment webinar. It is completely free. The registration link for the upcoming webinar is also given in the description box. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up. Also, share it with your social circle. If you haven't subscribed our YouTube channel so far, please subscribe now.